Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and we're back with another sweet Tinkercad flight in space lesson. Today, we're going to actually use our Tinkercad plane to master the different attitudes a plane can have while it's flying. So, my friends, let's get cracking. First things first, I need you to return to Tinkercad and find your jet. Click the gear and choose Duplicate. We don't want to mess with our previous jet. We want to work on a separate one. Remember, if you built this before, it had the arrows that showed lift, drag, weight, and thrust. But we're going to delete all those by just clicking on the little arrows that we made and hitting delete. The three attitudes we're going to work on today are how the plane looks in the air. So this is great. My plane is flying in the air. Let me just show you the different attitudes. The first one I'm going to show you is called pitch. If we look at our plane from the right, Pitch is whether it is climbing or whether it is sloping towards the ground. That is the pitch of an airplane. The second way I'm going to show you an attitude is through the top of the plane. So I'm going to hit the top button and I'm also going to look at it from the back top so it spins around. Zoom back just a little bit and this is the yaw of an airplane. It is actually turning to the right and left as it is affected by yaw. And then the last of the three is called roll. If I look at this front edge and I grab this one, you can see that this plane is rolling from side to side with the rotation handle. So those are the three pitches that we need to have. Of course, if it's in the center, then you should be having stable flight. So right now you've seen all the attitudes that your plane can have. Now we're just going to add the sweet labels using a brand new command. The tool we're going to use is called Scribble. When Scribble is clicked, I want you to simply click on the work plane. And then we are going to make a arrow that kind of shows a circle. You'll probably not be able to be perfect at this. So just draw as good as you can. And all you do is you drag your mouse and then add the pieces so that it looks the way you want. If you're happy, you can just click done. If you're not happy, you can do undo. You could also erase the screen and completely start over. Um, here I'm erasing a little bit. Here I'm erasing everything. You can also undo if you really liked what you made. I'm happy with that arrow, so I'm going to hit done. Now I'm going to zoom back out to the home size and look at that. I have got a sweet arrow that I can shrink down to size two so it's skinny. And then we need to put the correct word down here on this label. And when the plane rotated this way, I'm going to grab my plane again. And when it rotated the way that arrow uh, goes, what was that called? You need to take your answer and add it down here on the bottom. I'm going to click work plane and you need to put it right there. I'm going to let you double check your research of what we found out, but I'm going to tell you that that one started with a Y and then you just have to type the rest. Let's move to our next attitude of a plane and we need to have a flat space and I'm going to use the edge of this wheel. So I'm going to hit work plane and there's my edge of the wheel. And now when I do my scribble and drop it out here, I'm going to simply draw an arrow that does this. This is another one of the attitudes. I'm not going to tell you the attitude. I want you to figure it out. If you have to use Google to double check it, you may. But when you click done, there is your awesome arrow. Once again, we're going to make it skinny. We like that two millimeter thickness. And then you need to add the word using the text command for which one that one is as well backspace and type it in once again i'm not going to give you the answer i'm going to tell you use google or what you've learned about airplanes to get that typed correctly i am going to use this little box right here to make it skinny again so that they are both lined up and if you want you can even take those two pieces so they stay together Notice I'm just dragging a box that touches both, and I'm going to group them so they are one cool part, only it's got to say the real word, not what I had. And then we've got to do the last one. Let's spin around and look at our plane from the front or whichever side lets you see this. Here is our flat edge 
that we're going to build off of. See how that's nice and flat? And then once again, you're going to bring out that amazing scribble tool. And then this time your arrow does this. Remember, if you don't like what you did, just hit clear and start over. It's almost impossible to be perfect, but I want us to make sure we have at least the gist of what these different attitudes are for an aircraft. I'm going to move that to the middle, and then as we have before, I'm going to put the word up above it and label it as well. All right, let's set our work plane back to the ground. Let's rename this instead of copy of jet. Let's backspace over that copy of and then change this to jet attitudes because these are the way your plane can be oriented in the sky. Make sure you have all your right words and when you have it all lined up beautiful, use the awesome snippet tool to real quickly take a screenshot. Remember, you just click the new button. When it's gray, you grab all the parts that you've got to show me. Yours has to have the real words. Don't have the silly one. And then hit the disk to save it in your downloads. And at that point, put a little capture ATT after it so you know which one it is. Move to Classroom and upload that screenshot for me. Alrighty, friends, I hope you found this helpful as you tried to learn the different attitudes a plane can fly at. If you did find it useful, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.